in Chicago. Daniel Dan Martin and Bernard Bernie Litko. Two friends and colleagues in their twenties. Discuss their sexual escapades. Later. Their recreational softball team. Sponsored by local bar mothers. Plays against a local advertising agency in Grant Park and wins. Attending this game with her girlfriends is Deborah Debbie Sullivan. Who works at the advertising company and is having an affair with her boss. Steve Carlson. Debbie catches Dan's eye and they flirt at the beer keg. She and her friends. Joan and Pat. Decide to attend the game's afterparty at Mother's. Where Debbie again runs into Dan. With whom Pat flirts and Joan takes an immediate dislike to. They wind up back at Dan's apartment and have sex. After which Debbie hastily leaves. The next day. Dan calls Debbie at work, about last night. And asks her out on a second date. Which she accepts. Afterwards. They again end up in bed together and spend the following day exploring the city. Where Dan reveals to Debbie that his dream is to quit his job at a restaurant supply company and open his own restaurant. They begin dating more seriously and move in together. Heavily disappointing Joan and Bernie. Who dislike each other as well. As neither has ever been in a serious relationship before. They attempt to navigate cohabitation without much support from their friends. They experience much throughout their relationship. Dan being contacted by a former lover who is married with children. Debbie's boss Steve having difficulty accepting the end of their affair. Joan softening when she begins dating her new boyfriend Gary. A pregnancy scare. And Dan clashing with his boss. Who orders him to stop providing supplies to the Swallow? An antiquated diner owned by his client turned friend Gus. Due to late payments. Despite having told each other the L word. Debbie and Dan's relationship becomes strained. It reaches a boiling point at a New Year's Eve party at Mother's. Where Debbie witnesses a drunken Pat making advances towards Dan. And Joan discovers her boyfriend is married and returning to his wife. Joan tearfully asks Debbie to take her home. To which she agrees. Despite Dan's drunken objections. Upon Debbie's return home. Dan expresses his unhappiness and ends their relationship. Debbie immediately moves out of their apartment and back in with Joan. Debbie and Dan both date other people. But he begins to regret their breakup. Some time later. Dan calls Debbie at work asking for another chance. But she rebuffs him and hangs up on him. When they run into each other at a St. Patrick's Day celebration at Mother's. Dan tells Debbie he made a mistake and still loves her. She insists she has moved on and their relationship is over. Hoping to move on with his life. Dan partners with Gus to revitalize the Swallow into an old school diner. Achieving his dream. That summer. At another softball game. Dan and Bernie see Debbie riding her bicycle through the park with Joan. Who encourages her to talk to Dan. She approaches him and they both express regret at how their relationship turned out. As Debbie begins to turn away. Dan asks her out again and suggests they go to a great new place. But she suggests with a smile that they just go to some old joint. Signifying that she is aware of his new restaurant. As she rides away on her bicycle. Bernie convinces Dan to run after her. And the camera pans out to see Dan and Debbie passing through the park. Hinting at their renewed relationship.